it was catharsis for me. It was memorializing men that I knew. And it was also for one of my students at Spelman. Um, the night before I left Vietnam, someone blew up the barracks I was in. And one of the men who was mortally wounded was a medic that I had known for most of the time I was there. And he died. I was holding him, and he said, tell my daughter. And um, years later I got to Spelman and I had a student in my class and when we got in my world history class and when we got to the Vietnam War, this young lady started to cry. And uh, so, you know, after class, she told me my daddy died in Vietnam when I was about in first grade and I never, don't remember much about him. And we always promised over the years to uh, sit in my office and look at pictures and stuff. She'd seen some of my photos from Vietnam. She says, yeah, they look like my mom's mm -hmm. album. And she was in and out of Spelman for years. She'd go back to New York and come back here. So um, the weekend before graduation, her and her fiancé came to see me. I was cleaning up the office, getting ready to shut down. And she said, I brought my daddy's pictures. Uh -huh. And I opened the album, and I just started to cry because it was, you know. And she said, whoa, she said, can you tell me about my daddy? Right. So I told her about her daddy, and then I wrote about her daddy and men like him. Mm -hmm. for, 